Hey, welcome back, Red Flare. I'm back, finally. This time we're heading to Castle Carvenek, even though the book doesn't actually say we're heading there, because we haven't visited it yet. Uh, sorry I couldn't upload last week, but I was really, really busy, because my uh, school was putting on, like, a play of Beauty and the Beast. It actually went off pretty well, and I was the set crew, and, like, so it, it was, like, almost all day Saturday and Friday and Thursday, so I couldn't do anything then. And then Saturday night, all the way to early Sunday morning, we drank afterwards, because the after party and stuff was pretty fun too. So then the rest of Sunday I recovered and couldn't do much. And then, you know, the week was busy with school and stuff. If Castle Carbonek is what I think it is, it's going to be a castle... Okay, that's really obvious, but, you know, it's... I think there's like a castle that I'm stuck in and I have to help a brownie get out, and it's really weird. Anyways, let's head there, though. Uh, onwards to Castle Carbonek and the beginning of the realm of Albion. So this is the last chapter of Magic Mayhem. Then I can do something quicker, like Prince of Persia. Oh, uh, this is not what I was thinking it was. This is Albion land rife with potent magic. The Grail once resided here at Castle Carbonek. Perhaps once the castle is now the slaughterhouse lair of the cannibal Gergarant. What's with these guys and their cannibalism? What's happened to me? My head, my body! I'm an old man! Ah! I'm sorry, the curse of magical entropy is on you. I should have warned you sooner. Magical entropy? It's the sorcerer's burden. Accelerated aging is inevitable fate for those who wield magical forces in the arcane realms. So you've attained great power whilst a boy, but your body grows wise and feeble just as mine is now. Uh. Between they have so much power, only by ceasing your magical will rule this terrible affliction end. I'm sorry, Cornelius. The fault is not yours. You did not ask to be brought to this place. I suppose so, yet there is more to tell. But first, we must reach the mainland while we still have our strength. Portal lies beyond the castle gates, but beyond guard, the traps will be many, like a cannibal. I hear the sound of scavenging beasts. We should hold them, hold back from the castle until I have secured a supply, of, until we have a secured supply of mana. So, you know. I, I thought, like, being a mage, like, to be a mage, the prerequisite was to look like a grizzled old badass, but now I guess it just comes with the territory. Oh, I remember this, I think. Anyways, yeah, there's so many cannibals in this. In, uh, the, the Gaelic Celtic thing, there was a cannibal and who had the grail, and, you know, there's always people eating monsters in Greece. They have, like, a billion of them. You'd really think people would, like, spot a cannibal and kill them earlier. It's not like it takes that much to figure out when someone's eating another person. If anything, I can always kick off Ariadne from those nice places of power, or find my own, if I'm feeling nice. Anyways, yeah, but back to the show, though, because it'll take a while for shit to get started in this map. Um... Yeah, I was the set crew, but for the, our show we have a, like, a production class, which is like, they put on a show every year, but it counts as a course, and since I took physics and chemistry this year, I couldn't take production, but I still wanted to help, so I volunteered myself as backstage crew, and it actually turned out pretty well, I mean... We had, we had really big risers to move, it was like a platform on wheels with really thick wooden beams and then another platform, so they were kind of difficult to move, but it was still actually really fun. And then, you know, I got to drink after, that's always a bonus. Except, and our acting was actually pretty good, our, our dancing was alright, but our singing... We had, um... Not the most talent in, in singing. In fact, I kind of hope that people I know aren't watching this, because most people I know were in production. There was one standout, though. I believe most of you people know Marlon the Goomba, because if you're watching me, chances are you've heard of me from the Showdown Gang. If not, you can see it in my little connections panel. And Marlon is also in the Showdown Gang. Oh, here's a cannibal. He looks kind of fucking creepy with green eyes and skulls. The Overlord most, most gratified, give it to me. You're mistaken. I'm here to rid Albion of the Overlord's vassals, and you will be the first among them. I fucking hope so, because I do not want to be eaten. 
Ha! <laughs> you have the, you have the metal wizard. You'll make a splendid roast. Oh fuck! And a bit and a little, bit off a little more than you can chew. God damn it, Cornelius! I should kill you just for that. But yeah, um, Marlin the Goomba, who is Marlin Campoloni, for those of you who don't who know more than just online, he was Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. And he did a fucking great job. Like, if you've if you've seen him, he's almost the opposite of Lumiere, but he did it so well. Like, he was crazy, and he had the best cheesy French accent you would you could ever hear. Like, we all wanted him to be Lumiere, just this is a joke. We we kept saying like, oh, make five. She's the drum teacher. We we're like, make him Lumiere, make him Lumiere. We never thought it would fall through though, but. He did it, and he was so great! Like, I was so surprised that, at him. It was awesome. Anyway, so, go and kill this cannibal. He used iron skin, which is rather disappointing, because now it's gonna take a while to kill him. Still, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have too much of a chance, because as far as I know, he has no mana. And he's being hounded by... Three unicorns with Excalibur, a wizard with Excalibur, and a bat with Excalibur, which I'm pretty sure is the biggest way to waste your mana ever. You fool, you think I'm defeated. Fuck. Come to me now, Cornelius. Come and meet your doom. Because for some reason, he sounds like Emperor Palpatine now. Okay, so let's just take that place of power, because I'll need it now. Well, it's cool to try to live off mana sprites, there's no way I can actually do it. So, you three go kick off that poor little bat, and then we shall go to Castle Carbonek to fight Senator Palpatine. And the portal is there. Is there a magical item, though? I, I admit I haven't explored that much of the region, but it all seems to be in the castle now, so... Oh! There's an elf eating meat. Let's go kill him. I just interrupted an elf lunch. Then again, seeing as how he's a cannibal, that, that lunch was probably long pork. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know, long pork is a euphemism for human flesh. These three bridges hold challenges you must overcome to gain entry to Castle Carbonek. Take heed, Cornelius. These obstacles are not to be taken lightly. So, oh, ooh, that's bad, actually. And I just woke through my own fucking unicorn. God damn it, I hate when that happens. Nope. Nope. God damn it. No, no, run. Don't be fried, don't be fried. Run away, run away, run away. God damn it. Ah, fuck. Okay, let's wait till I get enough mana for another lightning bolt. Um, in fact, I should probably send an elf to go kick Ariadne off of her nice little comfortable place of power. Ooh, that's nice, though. She keeps giving me Excalibur. I feel kind of mean for taking her off her place of power, but... No, Lucan. Lucan, don't you dare fucking stay there. You're gonna die, and I'm going to stab you. She dies. God damn it. Dumbass. Get out of there! I suppose I could search for mana sprites. Anyway, so yeah, now I have to wait. Lawful Bridge Guardian killed. You killed Lawful Bridge Guardian, 10 experience. Unfortunately, the Lawful Bridge is still guarded. And it's guarded by something much more fearsome than a fucking Lord Unicorn. That was such a dumb Guardian. And... wait. Yeah, they're in reach. There we go, there's one. Oh, there's elves. Oh no, that's a race. That sort of defeats the purpose of having a race, actually, I think, by putting that over its head, because then I'm like, hey, look, there's a floating bow. Anyways, he's dead. Now just wait a bit more, my man is coming back rather quickly now. I believe, though, there's like fear statues and those love statues. Oh, you haven't seen those, actually. There are these two, statue two types of statues. One's a fear statue, that when shit gets near it, it runs away, if it's not brave enough. And there's another one, it's like, a love statue is just the opposite. If you don't have a high enough will, I think, then you run away. Oh shit, I think that might- that may have supposed- 
like, I think the Guardian was supposed to be a King Unicorn, but they were trying to be nice and not steal my unicorns away. Which I feel misses the point of having, like, a boss. He's supposed to be challenging. So if the only thing I have a unicorns and he's a King Unicorn, I'm challenged. Oh, fuck. He just bit my dick off. He, that, that alligator just bit my dick off. That was not very pleasant. Anyways, um, so he's probably gonna go down. Here comes a troll from Uncle Lucan and a unicorn from Ariadne. Not that we really need them. I just hope there are no more statues to, to contend with. And there he goes. Now he's dead. Nope. The neutral guardian is dead. And I am also in the process of dying. He was a king, after all. And now I'm guessing this is a Chaos Guardian who's going to be undead, so my unicorns should brave it. Ah, It just disenchanted me! It disenchanted poor Excalibur. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Dude! There's nowhere else it could be! Kill it! There he is. Come on, guys. There was a race there. It disappeared, but it was between you. It's not like it could have hid somewhere. They really could have done better for the chaos. The neutral guardian was definitely tough. Because, honestly, a king alligator is going to fuck so much shit up. Oh! It's got Excalibur, too. But yeah. They could have done better with the, uh, the law guardian, too. Maybe like a griffin? And the, the chaos guardian definitely could have been way better. Maybe a vampire, which are really cool. They can fly, but they turn into bats when they fly, and when they attack something, they turn into like a human vampire-y thing, and they steal life, obviously, because it's a vampire. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna go stereotype, go all the fucking way. Don't go half hog there. Go, go, go whole hog. Almost. Almost got him. Ooh, king unicorn! Yay! Woo! Now go through. I suppose. Oh fuck. That's not pleasant. I suppose at this point I could have actually converted the champion of law. Because I'm a lawful wizard. That also confuses me. Why are there so many lawful beings working for an evil guy? Um, just heal these guys so they don't die. Maybe reinforcement. And then hope I don't waste all my mana. Like that. That was kind of actually really useless. Anyways, though, he's dead. He he can't really stop me now. We got him. Okay, so Carbonek was actually simpler than I thought it would have been. Let's just go steal that. In fact, unless he's worth 50 experience points, I missed something. Oh no, my Lord Unicorn with Excalibur. Don't die. You're my Lord Unicorn with Excalibur. Oh, hey, haha, <laughs> I stole his place of power. You you can get off the place of power, Unicorn, it's okay. Oh, they're both dead. Okay, he's dead. Uh, there's a few guys in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Dude, stand on the place of power. In fact, I'm gonna send you to clear out this place of power. Oh no, never mind, Ariadne got that shit covered. We win. He can't win now, actually. It's, it's impossible. He's losing his mana. Aw, oh, my poor little elf died. I got this, though. Hey, there's even a king to Castle Carbonek now. It's a unicorn, but I now have a king in Castle Carbonek. Kill him! Kill him! He must die! God damn it. Hit it when they're really tough. No, this cannot be. There we go. Killed Gurgurant. 50 experience points. And now the elf is getting bludgeoned to death. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave a nice king here, and then away we go. That's actually pretty quick. And that's my phone ringing. Maybe I should get that. Okay, so... Killed Luffle, Neutral, and Chaos Bridge Guardians, killed Gurgurant. Rating Apprentice 96. Once again, I'm playing on normal to easy, I think. Um, 
Now it's the Forest of Arden. I'm not sure how much time I've spent though, so... Come on guys, tell me how much time I spent. Anyways, um... Let's just fuck health. I... In fact, I think that's what I should have. Lock health and neutral for talismans. Four of each is the max. Three of each is, like, what I should be at. Except is there a different spell I could put in? Red cap, I need, I think. Bloodlust might be nice. Nah, this is good. Okay, so now we're going to be heading off to... Oh, now they fucking give it to me first. The Forest of Arden. Uh, this is the forest region of a romantic place created by Merlin, the Lady of the Lake. Oh, I remember this in the story. Uh, many different knights and damsels have ventured here and drunk- Oh, this one, this one, I hate this one so hard. Because the entire thing is timed, and, like I said, those love statues and those fear statues, they're fucking everywhere. So either your guys are, are going to be running and stuck in one place, or they're not going to be able to go near some place. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm probably going to die on that one. So instead I'll just save here. Leave it at that. That Gaming Mexican signing out. See you next time, guys. Hope I can get it up next weekend.